Hey, what's up guys? Bullseye here, coming at you with another haul. Uh, happy Star Wars Day, and also happy free comic book day. I did not uh, get out to any stores today, but one of my local stores put out a bunch of new dollar books last night. Um, and this is mostly from that, and I have some other stuff too. So, uh, this is Hitman number 18, the first appearance is section 8, which is that crazy team six pack and dog welder. And then this has been making a lot of buzz recently, uh, which is why I knew to look for it. Uh, this is Savage Dragon 10, this pretty rare uh, newsstand variant, which you can tell by the UPC code in the corner there. Um, it's got a few spine ticks, but it's in pretty good shape and um, seems to be going for a bit. So I might trade this in or trade it to somebody I mean or uh, or sell it. I'm not sure. I might keep it. It's cool that it's rare, but I'm not a big Savage Dragon fan. It is a nice cover. Um, got Dark Horse Presents number 10. This is the first appearance of The Mask. And it, it's kind of weird. Because it doesn't really look like the mask and it's not spelled the same, but technically this was the first appearance. This is a random book to find, um, but it is rare. Uh, Island, issue one. It's kind of an oversized book. Um, and this is a pretty good shape. Um, and I found number two also, which is a lot rougher. But it was, I think they were both a buck, and it was buy one, get one. So I knew they were rare books, uh, or hard to find, so I grabbed them. I think the set sells for like 40 bucks. Um, got some Dave Stevens. Um, Airboy number five from the Eclipse series. Dave Stevens art. Um, sorry, I thought it wasn't clear. This is more Dave Stevens art. This is uh, DV8 number one. Uh, I think it's called the Pride variant. Is it the Pride? And I got um, two of these. I thought that was a cool cover. Uh, this is one of my favorite Michael Turner covers. Definitely wasn't going to leave that there. It's probably my third copy of this book. Love it. So there was hype on this book for a minute with some Netflix series. Um, for Ariel, a warrior nun, and Shotgun Mary. This is not her first appearance, but this is like the first of her solo series. So, figured I'd grab it. Um, this is, this is kind of a key because of um, Endgame, so I'm not going to say why, just in case, but uh, easy to look up yourself on Google or um, the Key Collector app is a great, great app for that kind of thing. So that's 26 and 30 from that just because they're both kind of related to things that happen um, in Endgame. This was I got because of Thanos, Thanos is in it. Um, X-Men and Incredible Hulk annual. This is New X-Men number 31. And this is the first appearance of Kimura. Or Kimura, I think. Um, it's like an X-23 villain. So, you know, if she ever gets her solo movie, very likely that could be the villain. And that book could, could um, heat up. This I just grabbed because it's classic cover. And it was a newsstand. Now, this is um, 
the new Blue Beetle key. Uh, this is first Jamie Reyes. And I got uh, the other one as well. And I'd had these in my own personal collection, but um, the fifth is first full appearance of the third Blue Beetle, Jamie Reyes, in costume. So, grab those. Really nice Jim Lee art on the covers there. Um, so, I do love the Christian comics. I always grab those. Uh, I have three Spire books. This I've seen with the Spire imprint. I, di I did not look it up. I'm assuming this is new Barber Christian Comics. I'm assuming this imprint came after Spire because um, the price is higher as well. But um, it does have a rip up here. But for a buck, you know, I'll grab it. Uh, this is Chromatic number three. I grabbed this because uh, that's Warmonger. Er, sorry, Killmonger. Um, the villain from the Black Panther movie. This is kind of specking on this book. I, I have a copy. I love Mark Miller, and I love um, this this story. So maybe it'll get a show or a movie. Um, there's all this. There's only a few books in here I paid more than a dollar for, and some I paid less. So it probably evens out. But I did pay five for this one first appearance of uh, Ghost, the villain from Ant Man. Um, and then I'll point the other ones out. This was uh, another dollar book. J. Scott Campbell, Red Sonja, number two. I think I have this already. I need number one, though. Um, another very cool J. Scott Campbell cover. I put this in. I don't normally put them like this. I did it so you guys could see um, the other side there. Just a really cool uh, spread cover with a lot of characters. I don't know about his face right there, though. And, um, Adventures of Spider-Man number one. I just grabbed it because of first issue, and I like stuff based on cartoons anyway, and I like the cartoon, and I do have, like, the last issue. I have one of the really, there's a few issues in this that with Venom that go for money, and I have those, or I have one of those, so I figured I'd grab this one, this was another one I paid five for. Um, I had it, but in low grade. This is a nice copy. And this was the other one I paid five for. Um, same, I think I had it, but it was, it was low grade, so. This is kind of neat if you like crossovers and stuff. Um. Just a lot of different things happening. I guess Mysterio makes them fight toys. And you've got Luke Skywalker, Godzilla, uh, the Xenomorph from Aliens, Woody from Toy Story. I think um, maybe one of the Dinobots, Gumby, uh, Ninja Turtle, Stretch Armstrong. Um, Sentinel, but that's Marvel, so it's like whatever. But um, yeah, so some crazy, and he's fighting a lot of these characters inside, so it's kind of a fun book if you like that kind of thing. Um, that's ASM four thirteen. This is five eighty three. This is the fourth printing. Uh, I don't have any of these, so was happy to get this. I did notice the back is pretty roughed up. Like someone was writing on a paper on the back of it, like really hard. Um, Spider-Man, the Parker years. Uh, this is, I think this happened after he found out he was a clone. And he's just kind of like talking about his life with Mary Jane, reliving everything he had gone through. And... 
It's a cool book, but I picked it up mostly because Carnage and Venom were on the cover. I think it's also, actually, you can't see the back, but I think it's a fold-out. Um, Venom Lethal Protector, number four. This was one of those where I was leaving, and I'm like, hey, do you have anything ready to go out? And I found this for a buck, so I had to grab that. It's first sc appearance of Scream. Female by Boat. And that, what I just showed you, was Venom Lethal Protector 4. That first Scream. And this is number 5. Which I, I just needed it. So I don't think it's... I don't know. Who knows? Could be a first appearance. Um... bunch of Batman stuff. So I guess I guess this is kind of a hard book to come by from what I was seeing online. It was a little hard to tell, but um, it is a really cool black cover in high grade and cool story by Grant Morrison. I'm trying to pick up uh, Morrison's run around this time when he was doing R.I.P. And, and those, those... It's also... I think it was in the spec deck on Key Collector because it's the first appearance of Leviathan, a terrorist organization run by um, Talia Al Ghul, who they make like uh, super villains, like super powered humans. Um, this is my second copy of both of these. Um, these are connecting. The one with Harley on the cover, of course, was not there. But like I said, I have it. Uh, but these were a buck each. I think I have a friend or two who uh, would really appreciate these books. So we'll see. And I just found a really nice run of um, New 52 Batman that I uh, did not have these issues. So... Just went ahead and grabbed them all for a buck. So those are kind of most of... I get, well... Um, I spoke too soon. A little more Batman here. Batman Dark, or Darkness Batman. This is cool because it's got Sylvester and Finch art. And then a Swamp Thing book, early Alan Moore Swamp Thing. This is uh, number 26. And we did that. Looks like uh, looks like the demon back there. And we got uh, Fear Itself Deadpool, number two of three, where he's got MC Hammer pants on and Milner all decked out. Um, and Secret Defender 17 with a Deadpool appearance. Guys, if you're looking for Deadpool and you're getting scooped in the Deadpool section, check uh, Secret Defenders 15 through 17. Find yourself some good old 90s Deadpool. Um, so yes, that was kind of most of the keys. Now it's just kind of some fun stuff that I'm picking up. Um... A beautiful cover here on um, Dick Tracy movie adaptation uh, book three gotta find the other two but oh geez I love that art and the color what a great movie I gotta pick that up on blu-ray and um, Southland Tales was a movie directed by Richard Kelly same director as um, Donnie Darko and I really like the movie, and uh, this is a prequel um, to it, so went ahead and grabbed that. Uh, Eon Flux. Now, unfortunately, the movie was bad, but I think this borrows a little more from the series, maybe, than the actual movie. Certainly, art style is similar. 
This is by the same guy that did Akira. Um, and this was also, I believe, adapted into an anime. Kind of a uh, 2001 a Space Odyssey kind of thing. Um, Godzilla, King of Monsters, number 14. Godzilla vs. G-Force. Love these Dark Horse Godzilla books. Trying to get them all. Uh, I also got 15. And I Am Legend, book one. Another really great story, guys. It is nothing like the movie. Um, I recommend the book, and this comic is based on the book. Not that I actually kind of enjoyed the movie, but um, such a cool, much cooler story. And they really kind of completely missed the point as well. And then I got book two. And I had found three a while ago, so I think I, I think I have them all. Um, got He-Man, the Attorney of War, number one. It was, uh, they had a bunch. This was the only one that was beat up, so. This was probably one of the things I was most excited about finding the other night. Um, I had a, a rough, rough copy. This is a really nice high-grade copy of Centurion's number one. This was, um, a toy line in a cartoon in the 80s. And I loved it. These, they were these big toys. These big figures with holes in them. You would, like, stick all their gear into... He was, like, the hardest one to get um, his gear for. Because I think it got, like, canceled right before, right when his toys was coming out. So it's, like, super rare. Um, but, yeah, it was just, sorry to nerd out about that. I love that. I was really happy about that. Um, in Humanoids, number three. I think I only need one more. And I'll have them all. Another great 80s cartoon and toy line. That one was, in Humanoids, was really intense and um, maybe a little too scary. Caused the satanic panic. Um, Johnny Quest, I've been thinking about picking this up for a while. And I found one through four. So, just went ahead and grabbed, grabbed all of these Johnny Quest Comico series here. Uh, some of these have Dave Stevens art. This one has Dave Stevens art. And another one, might be five actually, which I don't have, is a, is a desirable Dave Stevens cover, I think. Might be six. Um, Roger Rabbit, number 15. And uh, welcome to Toon to Toontown, number one, with Jessica Rabbit. Of Roger Rabbit. So some more cartoon stuff. And then oh, almost done here. Uh Tailspin. Um Pinky and the Brain. It's a mission impossible. Willy poster sweat. We got some Transformers. Seventeen. Number nine, dope, dope cover. Star screen. And uh, number 49 here. More star screen. This is a crazy comic. Um, it's Gumby. I don't really remember Gumby that well, but it, I don't think it was like this. So, I had to grab that. Look, look fun. Um, trying to get all these Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. This is from the first series. Number two. Uh, this is some of the later ones. And this was based on one of my favorite card lines as a kid. Um, it was came out in 88, and it was for kids, and it was ultra-violent. And um, 
there was, I think, an Ep Epic did a comic series back in the day, which I have one of. But I had to grab these. Some of this is the original art from the series back in the day, too. So, highly recommend checking it out. All right, I think we're down to the last stack. Oof, this video is too long. Sorry it is so long, guys. Um, some video game stuff. Street Fighter 13. I got all the girls on the cover there. Got Oni number three. StarCraft Zero. Uh, this book goes for a bit. I actually grabbed it because I was hoping it was a flip cover and there would be some Overwatch on the other side. But This is cool because the, C the Rage 2 just came out. So I got uh, the full mini here. One, two, and three. This was based on a video game. And then Advent Rising. This upgrades my... I think I had this one already. And I got two... And four. I'm hoping I didn't leave three behind. Um, and just a little content warning on this last one here. Uh, the art of Armando Huerta. Um, I flipped it around. I like this cover a bit better. Um, he's done some cool covers. Uh, Lady Death. Some other stuff you might have seen. Anyway, guys. Sorry this is so long. Happy free comic book day. Thanks for sticking to the end. Please give me a like and subscribe. Thanks.